Alrighty, partners, we are back. We got some more Fire Emblem Heroes, and today we're just going to go ahead and take a quick look at the actual full results for Chuzu Legends 8. Now, there's quite a lot of controversy going on. Some people are actually either very happy or very upset with the winners that we got this year, so we're, we're just going to take a look at the full results for everything that they've posted here on Twitter, and then I'm just going to like give my two cents on what actually happened and all that good stuff. Before we do, I just wanted to give a quick little shout out to this fan art here. This is what I've wanted for ages, man. Just like a casual clothes banner where the characters are just dressed like super casual. So this art is by, shout outs to Eily Any from the Fire Emblem Heroes subreddit. We have Uller here in some modern attire. Pretty good. I just wanted to draw a little attention to that real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the results now. So these are for the men. And then after that, we'll go ahead and take a look at the women. And then we'll also go ahead and take a quick look at this here, which is top heroes by ranking for each title. So, okay, let's start things off with the male division here. So as we can see, Alphonse did come in first. He had 13,286 votes. I'm pretty happy about Alphonse. And honestly, he is the only character that won that I'm actually happy about. <laughs> I'm not happy about either of the two women. Or Felix being in second place for the men. I think there were definitely some better options to look at. But let's keep going down the list here. So Felix in second place with 11,612 votes. Now Felix is one of the characters that got snubbed from past years. So it, it does make a little bit of sense that Felix would get a push this time around. Because a character that's been doing consistently good but keeps on getting snubbed is going to make the people voting for them feel pretty bad. So they're going to rally and support even harder next time. And I feel like that's something that happened with Bernadetta on the female side. So it's kind of inevitable. Like Felix and Bernie were eventually going to win. Even if it wasn't this year, it would have probably been next year. So I like it's bound to happen. Everyone is going to get their fair shake. But I like I, I feel like I would have rather get somebody else. But that's just me. Okay, so we have male Byleth at 10,663 votes. Kind of a surprise there. I would have expected an engage unit to actually be in third place, but it looks like male Byleth, just another three houses character, just stole third place there, which is pretty crazy to think about. Like, three houses is still this popular, despite coming out in when? 2019? It's been like six years. No, how many years has it been? Five years since three houses came out and still getting this much support? <laughs> it's hard for me to believe. Okay, Sigurd, my man Sigurd. I would have been very happy with a second place Sigurd and a first place Alphonse. Sigurd is at 8,058 votes. So, my second favorite lord in the series besides only Ike. <laughs> very awesome character. Alright, Diamant, the only engaged character that we've seen so far at top 5. He has 6,356 votes. That's insane that Sigurd actually got more votes than Diamant. Because <laughs> Sigurd... Doesn't really have anything to do with, like, the two games that were in contention here, Three Houses and Engage. Although Sigurd does play kind of a prominent role in Engage. He is, like, one of the more, I guess, how do I say, like, the leader of the Emblem Rings, it feels like. Whenever they have meetings or anything like that, they always refer to Sigurd for advice and stuff. So, I guess people were burning for some Sigurd love, especially considering how beloved FE4 is in Japan. All right, then we have Leaf at 5,855 votes. Leaf, is, Leaf and Sigurd are the only two major lords for the men division that haven't actually won yet. So, makes sense. Burger King at 5,084 votes. I'd <laughs> love to see it. Alchrist over here, another engaged character at 4,728. Male Alir at 4,421. And then we have Male Shez to round out our top 10 at 3,839. This makes it very difficult to tell, like, what's going to happen next year. Is Engage just going to get, like, a crazy push? Or are we just going to see Byleth and Sigurd steal the first place next year? I don't know. I feel like this could be subject to change next year. But for the time being, this is what we have for top 10. And then we scroll a little further. We can take a look at top 20. So Corin from Fates, male Corin. Suki and Krom. <laughs> Unfortunately, TMS did not pull through. Yeah, Legend... Well, I, I call him Legendary Yuri. That is his artwork, but it's just Yuri. We have Leon. We've got Toma and Kane. So, Itsuki actually did better than Toma and Kane. I, I guess I may have been overestimating this guy's popularity in relative to, like, all the other TMS characters. <laughs> so, forgive me for that one. 
All right, we have Rosado there. Sylvain. We got Leo, Takumi, and Alfred. Yeah, I, I was kind of shocked that Leo and Takumi were doing so good. I I'm not really too sure why that is. They don't seem like that popular to me, even though I've never played Fates. I, I can't really say for sure, but these two in particular, I feel like are kind of the black sheep of the Fates royal families. So I don't know. And then Alfred. All right. Yeah, whatever. No one cares about Alfred. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the women now. And Bernadetta had the most votes in this entire event. She decimated the two males that were in first and second place as well as female robin who had enough votes to actually take second place for the men division as well crazy like th this is how much we stand waifus <laughs> in fire emblem I, I guess so so bernie got snubbed quite a few times she got snubbed by ghoul vague which was the worst last year like bernie fans were in shambles after that so i'm, I'm not surprised that she got so much of a push this year then we got female Robin to compete with the male Robin getting his chance. Hopefully this time they actually pull through and give her the Levin Sword. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like they're just going to give her Thoron or like some stupid tome and <laughs> just call it. They just play it safe like they always do. Okay, Yunaka in third place. That's kind of a shock. I, I was expecting Yunaka to like handily win this one. But I, I guess not. I guess it might have been because of the Christmas Yunaka. Like, had they not released Winter Yunaka prior to this, I feel like she actually might have won for sure. But because they tossed some bits and pieces, like some crubs here and there, for these characters to get some summer alts and winter alts and things like that, in the case of Ivy, they kind of hurt their chances a little bit. Because people just like introducing new characters into the game, regardless of, like, what kind of alt they get. So... Yeah, I feel like Yunaka and Ivy got hurt by having alts prior to this vote. So Yunaka at 10,035, Ivy at 9,082. We have Azura at 8,466. Interesting to see Azura doing pretty good, but I guess she was doing all right in previous years as well. Female Alir at 8,316. I actually prefer the female Alir to the male Alir, but let's see. Yeah, she got way more votes than the male one. I would have thought as much. All right, Sharena, <laughs> this was the character that I kind of low-key wanted to win, but at least Alphonse won. Like, I'm happy about that, but I would have liked both of them to win at the same time just to have, like, the brother and sister combo. So 6,782 for Sharena. She actually did pretty good. Like, she did not do this good last time, so it's nice to see that she is at least getting some attention. All right, Darja at 5,335. Then we got Freya Mommy. Goat Mom at 5,075. Any vote for Freya is like <laughs> the most wholesome vote you could ever do. And then we have Vale over here to wrap up top 10 at 4,233. A lot of people like Vale, but I don't. I actually hate this character. She's so boring to me. She's just like, I, I don't know. How do, how do I describe it? Like cutesy wootsy. Like a little girl who wants to just like steal all of the show. Steal, steal the showcase, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that didn't really work for me. Okay, we have Subasa and Keita at 4,092 at 11th place. Hilda at 4,061. I'm actually like, Hilda is the last three houses character that I actually do still like. <laughs> I, I do like her personality quite a bit. She's just a lazy bum who gets everyone to do all her chores for her. Elincia at 3,533. I feel like Elincia did better in past years, but... <laughs> the recent influx of a ton of alts for her has hurt her chances a little. All right, Lapis at 3,423. Female Shez at 2,964. So I think the male one did better than her. 3,839 versus... Yeah, the male Shez actually did a little better. I do prefer the female Shez because she reminds me of Korra. <laughs> but, I mean, they're, they're very similar. It's not like there's that big of a difference between them. So the, the male Shez is fine. All right, we have Dorothea at 2,929. Gold Mary, who I was hoping would have did a little better than this, 2,813. Hopefully we get an alt for her at some point. She hasn't been added to the game yet, so I thought she might have had better chances than Yunaka and Ivy, but I guess not. All right, then we have Mia at 2,637. We have Panette at 2,614. And then Lelina, who I... Still to this day, I can't say why this character is so popular. <laughs> 2,519. You could say she's the deuteragonist of Fire Emblem 6, but not really. Because <laughs> she doesn't do anything at all in that game. You just break her out of jail on that one chapter, and that's it. Like, she does nothing else. 
So, yeah, I mean, Guinevere has more importance to the story than her, yet we, we have legendary G Lilina and legendary Fa before we got Guinevere, and even Guinevere didn't really deserve a legendary alt, but it is what it is. So there we go for all of the top 20 rankings. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how characters did by title. So we have three houses here, Bernie, Felix, Hilda, Mel, Byleth, and Yuri. So yeah, we, we already saw like three houses is doing good. Are they going to be able to win again next year? I feel like Mel, Byleth has some pretty good chances depending on like how things go. If people are going to want to rally for engage next time now, but I, I can't say for sure. But it does seem like Byleth and Sigurd are on cue to win next year. Okay, and then for three hopes, we've got Male Shez, we have Bernie. If, wait, three hopes, Bernie got like a separate thing than the other Bernie? I thought they counted like all votes together for the same characters. Alright, whatever. Then third place, Female Shez. So the Male Shez is actually doing better. Then Felix and then Byleth. Yeah, so like all of the typical people we just saw. Then from Engage, we've got Yunaka, Ivy, Diamant, Alir, and Alchrist. So... If Engage does get a sweep, it seems like Yunaka and Ivy are going to be in the top spots. And then Diamant and Alchrist for the men. Which is pretty interesting. I, I'm i surprised Alchrist is as popular as he is. I feel like this guy wasn't that instrumental to the story. But I don't know. Okay, now here we go for Fates. Azura is in first, followed by Corin, and then Leo, which... That, that's insane to me that Leo is in third place. <laughs> Then Takumi and Xander in fifth. Okay, then over here we've got Alphonse in first, and then Sharena. So maybe Sharena can pull through next time. And Need Hogger managed to snake her way into top five. Yeah, Freya is still top three though. That that's crazy. That Freya is still like b the most beloved besides like the main Asker duo. So I, I am very happy about that. Freya, I do feel like Freya is actually the best OC. She's the best written one. She's so nice. She's like the nicest lady. All she ever did was adopt a bunch of fairies. Like, what did Freya actually do wrong, man? We we are the villains for killing Freya. We should not have done that. All right, and then Fiorm. I, I don't know why Fiorm. Fiorm Dev is, like, out of control. <laughs> he might have been the one who stuffed votes for her. And then Needhogger, of course. Then over here for TMS, we have Subasa, Itsuki, and Toma. So these three are, like, they've been consistently making it to top 20, but they, they haven't been able to win yet. I swear to God, they, they need to do one more TMS banner. Just, like, scratch the itch for these people. Like, get Toma in the game. I don't know who Maiko is yet, but it, it seems like she's been doing okay. And then P people really want TMS Tiki. So we can get Toma, we can get Tiki, Maiko, and then, like, maybe a different Itsugi and Tsubasa. Like, a rearmed one or something like that. I don't know. Okay, then over here, we've got for Shadow Dragon. So, Sheeta's in first, followed by Tiki and Minerva. I, I really don't want Tiki to win again. <laughs> we already got the adult Tiki. I feel like that's good enough. Then Catria and Navar. Okay, for Echoes, we've got Burkut, Delphia, May, Catria again, and Renea. All right, then for New Mystery, we have Katarina. Interesting. And we have Sheeta, Clarice, Chris, and Tiki again. Tiki is very popular, ain't she? <laughs> she's been, like, like, every game that features Tiki, she's been, like, a top five <laughs> in the votings. All right, then FE4, legendary game. We've got Sigurd, Ira, Leaf, Julia, and Ishtar. Surprised Deirdre didn't make it anywhere close, but I guess... Is, is that really that much of a surprise? I guess not. Sigurd, though. Sigurd, I feel like he is in line to possibly take first or second next year for the men. And that seems to be it. That's all the games. Did we look at everything? I feel like we might have not missed, like looked at everything. But I, I guess we looked at everything. So my final thoughts on the winners here. I, like Alphonse, hooray, yippee, awesome sauce. Alphonse was able to take it. Felix and Bernie, uh, I'm not the biggest fan, but sure. And then female Robin, I'm neutral on. I don't like I'm not happy, but I'm not unhappy about that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. This is your boy Tatro signing out. So take care, fellas. And I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.